on the News Channel 5 Network. This is the Retirement Report. Good morning. Welcome to the Retirement Report. I'm Hank Barrett, your host. All right, we're going to be talking a little bit about the markets today. Uh, we're going to be talking, uh, you know, one of the things that's gone on this year, it's just been a very unusual year, and we're going to hopefully get our, we're going to have a guest joining us to uh, to talk about that. And, of course, joining me here in studio is Jeremy Threlkeld with um, uh, Virtue Capital Management over in Brentwood, Tennessee. One of our partners and uh, with Virtue, one, one of the things that we've uh, uh, benefited from, if you will, from our partnership is is the uh, resources that they have available, some of the research, some of the money managers. Uh, and joining us a little later here, we're going to, this morning, we're going to have Phil Cosmala with Tabor Cosmala. He's been on before, CFA, par uh, managing partner at Tabor Cosmala. And uh, we're going to get into the uh, market and economic update uh, that they just did for the virtue for virtue uh, clients uh, just a few days ago so he's going to share some with us on that one of the things when you're looking at the markets we're seeing how much the markets have dropped this year uh, year to date the markets are recovered a little bit we were down as much as 25 percent I think we're somewhere around 17 18 percent down right now on the S&P now of course depending on the indice Nasdaq's down more than that as is the uh, Russell 2000 thousand of small caps what we're looking at though is what to you know when you and you know seeing what's going on is trying to understand a little more and understanding bear markets in general we're gonna have bear markets as part of investing in fact uh, on average it's one in four years or negative years and bear markets about uh, maybe every 10 years uh, give or take so you understanding that volatility understanding that's part of investing in the market but understanding the positive side of that that means that we have positive returns three out of four years and that uh, we have more um, more positive years by far of course including more bull markets than than bear markets so that and they and bull markets typically last longer what you want to be thinking in terms of at this stage is you know what do I do well, we're going to get into that and share with you some other things that you can do this is a great time to assess where you're at as far as your portfolio so if we have we hit a bottom there are some that think maybe so uh, others and I'm a, I'm a little more skeptical, you know, maybe not quite yet. And I'm waiting to see what the uh, November numbers are going to look like as far as the CPI, as well as uh, to see what the Fed's going to do with that, with that new data when they meet uh, middle of uh, December. And based on what happens there, that I think is going to give us a little more solid direction. Now, it's possible that uh, those that think that the bottom occurred sometime uh, early in October, and that we've since, um, you know, been going, yeah, basically a lot of volatility, more, more straight over after uh, the month of October in, into November. What's it going to look like going forward? Is this the time to jump in if you've been sitting on the sidelines? For most of us that do a buy and hold type of strategy, nothing changes we just keep you know hold hold course right stay disciplined the key though is understanding where you're at as far as your investments go so on a buy and hold are you using index funds do you have in fact hundreds if not thousands ideally of companies in your portfolio that that type of diversification is what's going to help you as far as weathering these types of markets and it's a particularly tough time because everything's getting hit we're not just seeing stocks drop we've saw the bond market drop and with the bond market I think down about still around 15 percent uh, year to date so when you're what normally helps uh, protect you when the stocks are down is that bonds are going to help soften that blow and reduce the amount of volatility here it's actually increased it so this makes for a very difficult time this year and uh, in fact I'm gonna bring Jeremy in um, Jeremy one of the things that we were uh, talking about as far as the way the markets are is also understanding uh, we've talked about the stop-loss strategies of course before <laughs> but understanding at a time like this like with the bond markets what is like one in 50 years that we've had something like this happen mm -hmm. for the fir first time in fact in 50 years so 49 last years uh, and we get this one right and at the same time that we've got stocks and of course you've got inflation and some of the things that are a uh, catalyst for that what do you do as far as what are you recommending to your clients uh, Jeremy at this time well Hank I mean this year like you said it's been a really tough year there's not really any 
safe place to hide unless uh, you were in cash. And, and one of the unique things that we did at our firm is we went defensive. We actually changed our defensive posture. So we're in assets that aren't necessarily correlated to the bond market that still have a great yield. Um, things like banking products, ultra short term treasuries um, that operate kind of like a cash equivalent but have a much higher yield. Um, and over the last few months, it hasn't moved much, um, but you know, it's not losing anything. So, I mean, we really had a shift over uh, to, you know, something that, that we haven't done before because, like I said, there hasn't been a safe place to hide, and it's been a very tough year. Yeah, this is one of the things. So what we're going to do, we're going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to have uh, Phil Cosmala with Tabor Cosmala join us as well. And we'll have a nice little roundtable to, to talk about the, um, the markets and the economy and not only what's happened this past year, what led us up to this point, but what's it look like going forward. But first to break, join us here. We'll be right back on the Retirement Report.